what's up welcome back to the trucker's life i'm jorge navarro if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel if you're already subscribed welcome back um right now i'm stuck in this terrible traffic jam in the middle of nowhere uh between gallup new mexico and uh, albuquerque new mexico uh, it seemed to be like some major accident up ahead because um, that's what i like about using google maps because you're able to see real time what's going on and uh, it shows to be an accident but um i've already been in it for over an hour already and it doesn't seem like it's gonna get any better anytime soon they actually just came and put um a sign out one of those uh, uh what do they call those electric signs you know that they put on the side of the road and there's a construction they just put one of those out so that means that this is gonna be for the long haul what that person's doing person what are you doing running you see that you see that lady running oh it's actually like a police officer or something What's going on? Maybe they're going to do shift change in the middle of the road? Or no, the lady came to pick up her baby. Yep. Okay. First, this is the first <laughs> I've ever seen that before. But I guess they're, you know, the car behind me, they're from around here, so it's understandable that they're coming to pick up the baby. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. But they're uh, exchanging babies right here in the middle of the highway. <laughs> there she goes with her, with her baby and her car seat. But then again, it is kind of dangerous because, I mean, she pulled over on the side of the road. Now she's off far enough where she should be fine. Things that happen out here. Okay. <laughs> that threw me off. But um, anyways, still stuck in this traffic. And uh, like I said, it doesn't look like it's going to be moving any faster. And uh, that's it. Hopefully nobody died. Uh, it's just unfortunate if somebody did. Uh, if it's one of my brother, one of our brothers out here, brothers and sisters, truck drivers out here, just terrible. So sad. Um, if it is, hopefully it's not. But uh, just I can't even imagine that phone call that that parent or wife, kids get from uh, one of us passing away out here. Um, I know we don't get to choose how we go, right? But um, that's just, to me, that's, like I've talked before on uh, videos before that that's my biggest fear. Um, I guess it wouldn't be a fear once I'm already dead, right? But I mean, that's my biggest thing that I don't want anything to happen while I'm out here. Uh, if I'm at home, whatever, yeah, it's, I mean, it ain't fine, right? Because I don't want to die, but, um, I'd hate for it to happen out here uh, because I mean you just put your family in a on a in a bad situation because they have to come and uh, figure out how to get you back home if you're far away from home and uh, it's just just a terrible situation so hopefully that's not what's going on up ahead but as far as it's looking because of how, how slow the process is of getting whatever it is cleaned up it looks like that might be what's going on so maybe a fatality uh, if it is rest in peace to whoever passed away that's super sad but uh yeah guys i mean this is this is it this is uh another one of the things that we deal with out here other than um you know good things there's bad things like what's going on right now and uh i've been talking to you guys already for over five minutes 
and we still haven't moved uh, a hair. So what starts happening too is, as we start running out of time, you'll start seeing trucks start pulling over on the side of the road. There's one right there already. Um, see how he's, he's already pulled over. Um, either to take his 30 minute break or he done ran out of hours completely. Um, and this is what, what sucks about the whole e-log thing is that whenever um, situations like this, you know, you run out of hours, you run out of hours, and you might be hour, hours from a truck stop. Um, they do give you a leeway to get to the nearest truck stop, but they also don't want you to drive for hours to get to the next truck stop. So uh, some people get scared and just they just go ahead and pull over on the side of the road. Um, if, if like that truck right there stays on the side of the road, um, maybe for a 10 hour break, now that becomes a potential danger because once they get all this cleared out, um, he's still going to be there. He or she is still going to be there. And now he becomes a potential danger. That's one thing I, I've never liked going to sleep on the side of the road, on exit ramps. Um, on ramps, it's a little bit of a different situation, but on the side of the highway like this or on uh, off ramps, um, I've never liked to stay not even in rest areas and like that um, on the off ramp into a rest area because people are still coming at pretty fast speed and they lose control or they not paying attention and they slam into your truck you're not gonna wake up that day I mean that's just what it is are you gonna be involved in a major accident so to all my fellow truck drivers I know the situations are sometimes that are that are messed up but please try to find somewhere off the road um, I know you even if you run out of hours forget the running out of hours put something on your e-log saying that you need to get to the next truck stop figure it out don't stay on the side of the road like that because that is a recipe for disaster um, that's already been too many accidents of drivers getting rear-ended and killed uh, while they're asleep on the side of the road I know sometimes we don't have a choice because the truck stops are all full but one way or another, you can find a place, um, even if you go over your time. I'd rather stay alive, lose my job, but be alive. So to anybody out here, truck drivers, um, these jobs are not worth losing your job. I mean, you, <laughs> these jobs are not worth losing your life. Uh, they're not. And uh, that's why I don't get in a rush to go anywhere anymore. I mean, I just take my time. Now, I work consistent. I, I do my my miles I work consistent I don't stop every five minutes um, but I'm also not gonna kill myself if there's a tight load and I just can't make it hey, guess what it's gonna be late it is what it is and I don't care what anybody says uh, dispatcher terminal manager I don't care what anybody says my life is more important than this load that I have uh, on the back of my trailer so but with that being said, also you gotta be efficient. You gotta try to get there, you gotta make it. Um, you know, you gotta try to make the best of, of the time you have on your e-log and then be able to get as far as you can. But if, when you can't, you can't. It is what it is. But yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a short one, guys. Uh, if I get up there closer to the accident, I'll let y'all know what happened. If I see something, um, I'd rather not record anything there because it's just uh i mean maybe from far away i might record something but up close because i just don't want y'all to see anything that that could be uh you know just don't want to see anything you guys to see anything they don't need to see uh, especially if, if there's a death this is where they got us detouring around the accident we're still in the accident two hours later and uh, we're in some canyon now imagine that at the very bottom of the canyon it looks like if it rains it floods it looks like there's dirt on the on the road there this is nuts I've never had to uh, yeah this is my first time ever being in a traffic jam this long I mean I've been in a bunch of them but whoo man 
and I wasn't even gonna do a video today I was gonna start doing you know uh, every other day and uh, this situation came up so I was like let's record it <laughs> so right now I'm going down the hill very slow just creeping with my engine brake and uh, it's holding the whole the whole shebang real good without even touching my brakes not bad not bad oh man Finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, even though it's raining. I think they're they already put cars on the on the freeway, so I think that we're uh, we're good now. Uh and man, I always speak too soon. Now we're stopped again. Ah. <laughs> oh man. I gotta hurry up and stop some, uh, hurry up and get somewhere because I gotta take my 30 minute break. Uh, you're not supposed to take it while you're stuck in traffic, so. Plus, every time that you try to do it, you start moving, so. <laughs> but it looks like we're moving pretty good now, so we're gonna be able to get over there and. Uh, get somewhere and get 30 minute break in. I got an hour and 15 minutes left so I should be okay. But I felt like I should have been okay three hours ago too, but I guess not. Oh, there's still... Oh yeah, it's, it's a mess. Yeah, that was a horrible accident. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure some people didn't make it alive out of there. There's a um, there was a Hummer H2 Hummer upside down on its roof. It looked pretty tore up, and a uh, semi flatbed. He's his uh, doesn't look like he like he might have not you know uh, it looked like he might have got hurt maybe, but not. Uh, I don't know. I can't speculate, but it looks like he might have not, not have, uh, didn't look like he got killed or he got, you know, that hurt. The, the cab of the truck still looked okay, but the trailer, the truck, the front of the truck was all destroyed and he was all, the truck's all on like a, um, like a little ridge. So, yeah, it wasn't, whatever happened wasn't good. But I'm pretty sure that Hummer, um, yeah, doesn't look like they they fared okay on that one. And uh, I thought the road was gonna, cause we we went over a bridge, and I thought it was gonna be an on ramp right there, and uh, no, it ended up kicking us uh, way out. Like we're out, y'all see where <laughs> where I am, and. Uh, there's potholes out here, guys, out the wazoo. Like, this is a road that's not, 
not traveled too much and on top of that you got all these heavy trucks on here now and um, yeah I'm running out of time I got 45 minutes before I gotta take my 30 minute break and here comes one of these big potholes uh, slow down slow down what's cool about this GoPro is that it's got the stabilizer so even though I, I did hit a good pothole right now it uh you couldn't really tell but yeah the freeway's open and everybody's rolling and uh, we're stuck off-roading over here finally got to stop to take my 30 minute break and this is what it looks like still me that good because of the wind noise but yeah this sucks and we're still haven't made it to uh we still haven't made it to the freeway so man but i had to pull over right here on the side because i had to take my 30 minute break i was down to like 15 minutes and that was it that's all i had left be up here on my trailer checking some stuff out. See all the oh yes. <laughs> I don't know, but I need to find him. I kill him. <laughs> share subscribe so don't forget to like share subscribe click that notification bell and uh ooh, I got a little winded um finish up my break love you guys peace and I'm out of here